Hello everyone. The first thing you need to do is to browse to www.google.com. Once you're on that screen, uh, if you have a Google account or a Gmail account, you automatically have Google Drive, which looks like a little checkerboard. So click on the checkerboard and then move your mouse down to the word Drive. Click on that and it'll open your Google Drive. Once you're inside the Google Drive, you'll be able to upload files, uh, create folders and upload files. Now I have some folders already in here, but yours will look blank if you've never done this before. So you need to click on Drive, uh, the drop down menu, and then click Folder and give your folder a name. I'm calling this one Dave's Portfolio, but you can name yours anything that you need to name it, that you'd like to name it. Okay, the portfolio has been created and we see it here. So I'm going to double click on it to open that portfolio. Once I've done this, I can drag files to that. So in order to drag files to it, I'm going to open my file folder in my computer. And I'm going to minimize this so that you can, uh, you can see it. Um, and I'm looking for a picture because I want to put a picture in there. And so what I'm making it smaller, I'll just take the picture I want and drag it onto the Google Docs uh, screen. And voila, it uploads the picture. All right, you're also going to need to upload some other documents and, uh, and or artifacts that you want to put on your uh, Google Drive to use with your portfolio. So let's say that you want to put on there a example of your writing. So you might go to a subdirectory in your computer that has an example of your writing. I'm just going to pick a paper that I wrote with some friends here. And I'm going to drag that file onto the Google Doc screen. And voila, it uploaded it. Now since that was a Word document, I, I think it's best if you open it with Google Docs. And then Google will automatically make a copy of it in Google Docs format. And the reason I suggest that is that if people that you want to see this file don't have Word, they'll be able to see it if it's a Google Docs document. Now that I've got it open, it's exactly like the Word document, I'll, I can just close that. And there, there we can see that both of them exist, the Word document and the Google Docs document. So now I've got some files uploaded and I'm ready to use them in my portfolio. You can move on to the next video about how to create a Google site, which will house your ePortfolio.